Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about understanding sampling, okay? So think about a sample or a survey, right? So we are gonna talk about the different types that exist and then how to know which type it is. So if you wanna make sure to have a screenshot of this or save this picture, so there is biased and unbiased. So unbiased is accurately represents the entire population. So think about the entire population could be the school, the United States, the world. The sample then could be Miss Townsend's class or students who live in Georgia or the United States compared to the world. So again, an unbiased represents the entire population correctly based on just a sample. Then there's biased where it is favoring one way or the other. So there are two types of unbiased. Simple random, which is completely random. A name is drawn out of a hat. Everybody has an even chance of getting polled, okay? Or systematic random, where it's the 20th person or the 14th person, or it wouldn't be the first three people that walk in because they're probably early birds and that could make it biased. So it's an even distribution throughout the results, okay? So some biased is convenience. So like that example I said about the first three people, that was convenient to ask them, right? So that is biased, okay? Or if I say, I want a sample of how math students are liking math this year. Well, I can't just ask Ms. Townsend's class and Ms. McCall's class because that's not giving a picture of the whole school. Of course, everyone in our classes loves it, but not maybe giving a picture of every class in the entire school. So that would have been convenience and it is biased. Voluntary response is when people choose to take the survey which tend to be biased, or which usually are biased, because people tend to give a survey if they have an opinion. So whether it's a really strong opinion or a negative opinion, positive or a negative opinion, they tend to give their opinion in a voluntary response, which is why it is biased. So let's chat about some a few. Zach is trying to decide between three golf courses best. He randomly surveyed people at the grocery store and record, recorded the results in a table. So that is unbiased. And people at a grocery store would be simple random. So if this question had said he asked the people at the golf course, that would have been biased because they would have had a different opinion. If he asked um, the first three people at the grocery store, it would have been biased because they would have been the convenience. So because he just asked people at the grocery store, general, simple, or it is biased, unbiased, sorry about that. To find out how much money the average American spends to cool their house, 100 Alaskan families were surveyed at random. So I'm sure you're thinking it says random, so it's unbiased. Well, we gotta read the rest of it. This one is actually biased because they only asked people of in Alaska and they want to survey average American. So because they only asked people in Alaska, it is convenience. And their air conditioning bill is going to be very different than the people in Florida. Okay, so you make, have to make sure that your sampling is spread of enough people. If they wanted to know how many people in Alaska, how much it costs, 100 people at random would have been fine. But because the population they wanted was American, you can't just do Alaska. To evaluate the quality of their product, a manufacturer of cell phones checks every 50, 50th phone on the assembly line. That is unbiased systematic random. Because it is a system, every 50th phone, it doesn't matter if the 49th was bad, but they're just checking every 50th um, and to get a sampling of their product. To determine whether students will attend an art festival at school, Oliver surveys his arts club. Well, that is going to be biased because he is asking the people in this art club. So it is convenience 
because he's asking the people in his art club. Of course, those people are going to have a more art opinion probably than let's say the football team may have a very different opinion. You need to get a full sampling because um, it says whether the students will attend at the school. So the population is a school. He only surveyed his art club friends. So the new show asks viewers to participate in an online poll about which candidate they prefer. So it is Asking people to take the survey, people can choose, but it is still biased because it is voluntary. Am I spelling that one wrong? UN. Okay, it is voluntary because they can choose to do it or not. Okay, go ahead and do these practice problems and then go back and check the key.